Hey guys, in this video I'll try to show you two things. First, how an SLR camera works, and then how the image is focused through a lens and projected onto the sensor or film. This is a 20 year old Zenith SLR. Its mechanism should be identical to today's DSLRs, so it's not a bad example. Behind the lens, there lies the mirror. When you press the shutter button, the mirror goes up, the curtain in the back goes to the sides, and the sensor or film is exposed to the light, thus capturing the image. The point of the mirror is to send the light that is focused through the lens up to the viewfinder, therefore allowing you to see whatever you're pointing at. This works by reflecting the light into another mirror and into a prism, and then through the viewfinder. This is the backside of an old SLR. It's a film SLR, so the film used to be placed right here into the left side and then dragged over to the right side, which dragged the next picture into the place of the one you just took. And in the middle, there lies the curtain. The curtain is a strap of fabric that had the role of isolating the film from any intruding light that could spoil it. I'm actually not sure if there, if a curtain is still used in today's DSLRs. I would guess that it is. I haven't really had the chance of uh, verifying this. And this is how it works. It's almost instantaneously synchronized with the mirror. Now this is a lens, and a pretty good one actually. It's a Helios 58mm f2.0. I even use it today with an adapter. And this is how the image forms through the lens. I focus on a strong source of light to provide the concept. By the way, it forms upside down on the sensor. And that's about it. I hope people watching found this as interesting as I found all of these things when I first discovered them. And be sure to subscribe for much more to come. Bye.